guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm back again in the greenhouse this week and I am looking at building a second one uh, because this one's getting pretty full. I'm stuck, I just can't figure out how this works. <laughs> Yeah, I need to start my dahlias off. I've got a load more seeds to start off as well. And I just don't have enough space um, in this greenhouse. So I bought a second hand one last year and last week I've been trying to put it together. So today I'm gonna go and have a look at the area where I want to put the greenhouse and I'm just gonna try and put a base down for it and start putting it up maybe. I don't know if I can do it by myself. Um, but yeah, we'll see. There's not much instruction on um, how to put up greenhouses online or secondhand ones with no instructions anyway. So I was trolling the internet last week looking for an instruction manual that sort of vaguely resembled the one that I had uh, and I found one in the end. So I managed to put the sides together and the two ends together. So now um, I need to get the ground prepared. So I've just come over to where the polytunnel is and um, this is the area where I'm going to put my greenhouse, just in front of here. So I'm hoping that I can use this greenhouse for producing all of the plants for this field and the polytunnel. And then um, my other greenhouse can be used for that field over there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mow the grass and find out where the most level spot is. And then I'm going to use these rubber mats for the base of the greenhouse. So I'm really hoping that that's going to work. Um, and I'm going to just drive some long pegs through into the ground and hopefully the greenhouse is going to stay put. So I've cut the grass where I want my new greenhouse to go and I've put down this black plastic which will just help to stop the grass and the weeds growing through my rubber tiles that I'm going to put down. Um, these are just spare tiles that we've had from our horse yard. So there's, there's loads spare on the farm and we don't need them. So I'm using them for the greenhouse. Ideally, I probably would have liked to have used stone pavers, but I haven't got any. So these are going to have to do for now and I think they'll work fine. So I'm going to go ahead and just put them down in the area where my greenhouse is going to go. I'm going to go and get the side panels that I put together last week and then we'll see what happens. I think I've figured out how they fasten onto each other so hopefully I'm going to be able to do this by myself. I might need to rope in an extra pair of hands for it just to hold the two sides together but we'll give it a go and we'll see how we get on. So my battery died then just as we were putting up the greenhouse. I had a failed attempt of putting it up by myself. I couldn't hold the two sides and put the nuts and bolts in together. So I called on Rob and he came and helped. We've got the, the sides up and the roof bar. So I'm just going to go and start putting in the, the supporting bits for the roof. Oh God, I don't know any sort of technical terms for any parts of the greenhouse but um, I'm just about to put those bits in so um, I'll go and do that now. So basically we've got some um, square nuts that slide into the gullies in these um, bars and then Oh, this is very difficult to do with the camera in my hand. And they go into the holes there like that. And then put the nut in. And that's as simple as that. 
Morning guys, so we're on about day five of the greenhouse build now. The whole frame is up now um, and today what I'm going to do is peg it down. So I'm drilling through the base and I'm actually um, pegging it down with tent pegs. So I'm just using a countersink tool to make the holes bigger in the bottom of the greenhouse where it gets pegged down and I'm going in to make the hole bigger so that I can get the tent peg through the original hole and then I'm going to go on to glazing it so I'm a bit worried about glazing it just because it's glass it's so fragile and my other greenhouse has got plastic in it so we did that so that the dogs weren't going to run into it and cause themselves injuries so yeah a bit more risky with glass but we're going to give it a go anyway so these are the holes that I'm trying to make bigger just so that I can get the pegs through so I'm using this just to and that should be enough it's only a bit bigger than the original size of the hole Bob's just bringing my glass over. Don't smash it. I'm stuck. I just can't figure out how this works. <laughs> Right, so I've managed to put that glazing in and then I realised that there is a, a supporting strut that needs to still go in. So I've just let the glass slide down and rest on itself while my uh, bolts come that I've ordered on Amazon. So I've just got to wait for those to come now, but I can carry on glazing the other parts of the roof that haven't got the struts in that I'm waiting for the bolts to come for. So yeah, I'll try and do as much as I can whilst I'm waiting for those bolts to come. So um, I managed to get all of the glass in the greenhouse. I'm really chuffed with it. Um, I had to go and get about 12 new panes of glass from Ellerton Greenhouses and they packed it up nicely in some cardboard for me um, so that I could bring it back home safely. and put it back up on the greenhouse. So what I'm going to do now is just give it a massive clean. I've got some Jay's fluid just in that tub down there and I'm gonna give it a good old scrub. Hello, so a few days has passed since my last video. The greenhouse is up and running and it's sparkling shiny clean because I scrubbed it. Um, and the thing that I didn't manage to catch on camera was I was stood up the ladders and I poured some jizz fluid onto the top of the greenhouse and it swished down all down my front. Um, yeah, I was soaked in jizz fluid. My feet were wet, my face was wet. So um, anyway, the greenhouse is clean. It's up and I'm so chuffed with it. I didn't think that I was ever gonna be able to manage putting it up by myself and that's why I've left it until now. Um, but I'm so chuffed that I've managed to do it and uh, I didn't need anybody's help. Well, I did need Rob's help a little bit, just um, things that needed two pairs of hands and that. So it's done and now I'm going to be able to set off my dahlias and I'm also need to start off some seeds for the polytunnels. I'm gonna um, set up some tables, some kind of benching because I can't afford any of any more of the steel stuff at the moment so I'm going to try and bodge together some staging for now. I'm going to put in the table that I made last year which um, shows off my carpentry skills very well I would say. Um, I'll leave you to be the judge of that one. And then I've also bought some brackets that come off the side of the greenhouse that can act as some shelves as well. So I'm going to get cracking with that and I'll take you along with me as well. I've just spotted these crates, which might be quite handy for growing my tomatoes and peppers in that I'm planning on growing this year. So I might get those taken across into the greenhouse. So I've got in my bench that I made last year. This is the one that I've been telling you about that is just a work of art really. <laughs> 
it, it, it's all right it works quite well and um, we have just had to put a few more screws in because it wasn't the sturdiest of things but it's in and I've got these crates in there and there and then I've got this table out of the Macaulay tunnel so, so yeah I'm ready to start having a go with the dahlias so I've got them here and I'm going to get those started off in mushroom crates which are the most handy things in the world I think that I'm going to have to line them with some cardboard or something just so that the compost doesn't fall through the mesh so I've been and got myself a bucket of compost and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix in some perlite with the compost just to add a bit of drainage so that the dahlias have got less chance of rotting in the compost so I've got um, my first dahlias that I'm going to get going which is dahlia princess Elizabeth with these new tubers they're still really small so I can probably put two or three in one tray so that's just the bottom layer of compost and then I'm going to top it up again afterwards so I've got a lot of my new dahlias planted up in these trays here and I've just got a couple to fill up with compost at the end of there and uh, give them a water and then that's done. So now I'm moving on to these dahlias which are the ones that I dug up. I think I ended up digging them up in January so I was really worried about them because of how wet it was outside. They seem to look, they look really good actually which, which I'm really pleased about because they did start to show a bit of signs of some moulds and things growing on them so what I actually did do was I, I dipped them all in a 10% bleach solution you can still see the remnants of some of this white mould stuff that was growing on the dahlias there but I dipped them in a 10% bleach solution and I let them dry out for a few days inside the house and yeah they look perfect now I'm really pleased with those um, so I'm going to start popping those up now. I really hope you enjoyed my video this week guys. It was about two weeks in the making just because it took quite a while for me to put the greenhouse up and at one point I was like this video is going to be really boring I'm going to stop making it. Obviously when I first started filming this video the coronavirus situation was around but it wasn't as serious as it is now so obviously people are homeschooling their children and having to stay home from work as well so my heart goes out to you all life sort of goes on as usual here at bloom and gray and on our farm because plants aren't going to look after themselves and neither are the animals or the fields so we're just going to try and start making videos a bit more regularly if we can just so that we can provide a bit of entertainment and a bit of gardening knowledge for you guys at home so if there's anything you'd like to see just drop us a comment in the comment section below and we'll try our best to put a video out for you guys um, but I can't recommend being out in the garden enough. Enjoy um, being in the sunshine, seeing as the weather's been really nice this week. See you again next time. Love from me and Pat. Bye.